Hello all, and welcome to your non-alcoholic beer review. Yes, it's now the 5th of January. I'm still behind on uploads. I, I, I've, kept, I've caught up a little bit. I've caught up a little bit. Give me some slack here. Um, so how's draw January going for me? Well, uh, I realize um, now how much I used like a beer or two to fall asleep at night. And so my sleep has been... You know, people say, oh, your sleep's going to improve. Stop drinking. My sleep's gotten worse. So I'm, I'm pretty tired right now. Um, but, uh, yeah, I haven't been quite reaching my goals. I hope to eventually. I, uh, part of the thing is I want to do a whole bunch of stuff, but I'm so tired. I'm just literally sitting around vegging, dozing a lot, um, you know, because I'm only getting about three or four hours of sleep. But I, I have pretty bad insomnia have had pretty bad insomnia for decades now um so yeah long before i even drank alcohol i had insomnia so yeah um hopefully my sleep patterns return to some level of normalcy soon and i have energy to get these projects done that i want to do but until then we have a beer review well non-alcoholic beer review but it's still beer so you know um, <clears throat> I decided to finally review something I've seen on the shelves for quite some time, but I've never gotten quite around to. And, you know, non-alcoholic beers are starting to become a lot more popular nowadays. You know, everyone, apparently, you know, Zoomers don't drink alcohol, which is something I find strange because they seem to vape a hell of a lot. Um... <laughs> Something I've noticed from work, man. It's like they vape like, you know, some people from the 1930s smoked cigarettes. I, I don't think they can go without for 15 minutes without taking a hit off that thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> but um, I'm, I'm digressing. My mind is all over the place. But yeah. So non-alcoholic beers are becoming more popular, and this one, along Athletic Brewing Company, along with Bravis Brewing Company, and a whole host of others, have basically decided to just specialize in non-alcoholic beers, particularly non-alcoholic craft beers. And I first had this maybe like six months ago. Um, I had gone to a restaurant, and since I had driven to the restaurant myself, I did not feel like drinking that night. Um, I did feel like having a beer with my meal, so I ordered a non-alcoholic beer, and they had this, and I was really impressed. And um, I'm hoping, hoping to share that with you today, as well as go through most of the rest of their line of non-alcoholic beers. They do nothing but non-alcoholic beers. I don't know what process they use. Um, I'm going to assume it's one of the more high-tech ones that don't leave those bad flavors that are that non-alcoholic beers have been known to have for almost as long as they've existed basically that sort of warty cooked flavor um, that a lot of non-alcoholic older non-alcoholic beers have and there's a lot of verbiage on this so let's get to this at athletic brewing company we are pioneering a craft beer revolution we believe you shouldn't have to sacrifice your ability to be at your best to enjoy great brews. So we created our innovative lineup of refreshing, non-alcoholic craft brews. And this one also has, like, its calories. This is 65 calories a can, you know? So you can kind of put, a, put away a few of these. Um, frankly, I find that since they're non-alcoholic, you know, I usually only have about two or three in my desire for the flavors of beer are usually sated then by that point. Um, you know, it takes the alcohol to keep you rolling past three, I suppose. <laughs> so, yeah, calories 65, carbohydrates 14 grams, protein less than one gram, fat zero grams, ingredients water, malted barley, oats, hop, wheat, yeast. Near beer contains less than 0.5% alcohol by volume. I've seen this one in between like 0.4 and 0.5% alcohol on most listings. Where is this company located? San Diego. 
You know, back when I used to exercise, I, I didn't used to be a depressed shut-in. Uh, there, there was a time when I was a runner, if you can believe it. <laughs> um, you know, I really wish that these existed back then, because I really would have hit that up quite a bit. I mean, you know, after a long run, nothing feels better than a beer. But, you know, I would always do my runs before work, so obviously I couldn't go and, like, crack open one and then head to the office. <laughs> this would have been, like, a standby event, man. Just finish your run, you know, crack this open, read the news, and then head off to work. <laughs> Who knows, maybe I should go back into that, but, um, you know, I'd have to go and buy a new pair of running shoes and whatnot. And also figure out how does one, you know, run with exceedingly bad plantar fasciitis. <laughs> if you guys know the answer to that, please tell me, because um, I really don't like how much it impacted my life. <laughs> but anyways, it's been six minutes in. I've just been rambling. I haven't even gotten to the beer yet. I, I mean, I should just call this a vlog already. Uh, uh, the, <laughs> the shut in vlog review. <laughs> <laughs> with added beer review. <laughs> okay, let's get to this. Yeah. So a nice clear um, yellow orange, slight tint darker than um, gold. Very nicely carbonated, with a fluffy off-white head. Redolent of IPA. Yeah, Thinks right. Run wild IPA. It smells. Exactly, like a good IPA, you know, West Coast style, traditional West Coast style IPA should. Got grapefruit, um, citrus zest, some hints of pine. Also some uh, subtle floral and herbal aspects as well. But generally, smells like a regular IPA, and actually a pretty quality one. Okay, onto the palette now, shall we? Hmm. I think that if we you know, with this one, and it was, this is what struck me, if you're not a regular beer drinker, like I am, this could trick you into thinking it's a regular beer. You know, there, there's some giveaways that make it so that I know it's non-alcoholic, that I would be able to know it's non-alcoholic instead of a session IPA. But in general... Up front, a nice bitterness, not overly done. It doesn't turn tannic on the palate. Bitterness lasts into the finish. Very dry. Exceedingly dry. Crackery malts. Thin mouthfeel, but not so thin that you wouldn't just think it was, um, you know, a session IPA. Mm. 
Now, some people, some of the reviews I've looked at this have complained that they detect, um, you know, that sort of wartiness, that sort of cooked flavor um, that uh, a lot of non-alcoholic beers have. I find it so subtle that you can easily overlook it. You have to be kind of hunting for it to find it, you know. I didn't taste it until somebody kind of pointed it out that they tasted it. And, and you know, after sitting around, it's like, yeah, it, yeah, it's there. But, you know, it, it, it's not overwhelming. Very refreshing. Nicely crisp carbonation on the palate. Mm. Really just hits the spot, you know? I could, you know, if, if drinking non-alcoholic beers wasn't considered like a weird thing that something that basically only recovering alcoholics do, um, where people trying to avoid alcohol. Um, I could see myself drinking this like soda, you know, just having a can at work. <laughs> you know, because, like I said, for me, beer is all about the flavor and the experience and the aroma and all that. Alcohol is just something that's kind of added on, and there are times when I don't want that alcohol. A lot of times, really. So I kind of just wish it was a little bit more, you know, non-alcoholic. I, I want non-alcoholic beer to kind of become its own category so you can drink it in situations where people would be like drinking, say, soda or something like that. I don't particularly like most sodas. Um, I think the only real, there's only real two mainstream sodas that I'll drink and that's pretty rare. Um, and that's Dr. Pepper and uh, Fresca. <clears throat> I will, you know, I do enjoy like craft sodas, but they're kind of a rare thing for me. It's almost like um, it's it's almost like a candy bar experience for me. It's um, not some it's not something that I crave like I would a beer. It's just something a little treat every now and then you, when I want something sweet because I don't have much of a sweet tooth. Yeah. There's no alcohol in this, but yet I'm feeling happier and more relaxed. <laughs> it's just the experience of drinking beer for me. You know, those flavors, those aromas. <laughs> it takes me to my happy place. <laughs> One of my happy places. I have other happy places. Yeah. So I kind of, as you can guess, I really enjoyed this. I'm going to be working my way through the rest of the line, seeing how it goes. And yeah, um, you know, if for whatever reason you can't drink a craft beer and you're craving an IPA, I think that you will probably enjoy this as a substitute. So Run Wild IPA by Athletic Brewing Company. Cheers.